In this video, we are going to showcase six different email pop-up templates that you can use on your DV website to gain more followers and subscribers. So let's dive in. So first step is to check out the blog link that we will add in the video description below. And that will bring you here on this page and you can go ahead and download the email pop-up templates. So we click on this option here from the table of content and it will directly take you to this download section. And here you just need to enter your email address and then just hit download. And with that, you will see the download file button. So let's click on this and our download is now done. Now, once the download is done, make sure you go ahead and check out your file explorer and unzip all the zip files. And once that is done, we come back here in our WordPress backend and then go to Divi and then click on Divi library. And here we need to click on import and export and then click on import. And now we can import all the templates that we have just downloaded. So let's click on this and here are all our templates. So you can go ahead and click on all JSON file here, which will import all the styles in one template, or you can import them individually from here. So let me just go ahead and import one sample. So let's say we go with first one, then click on open and let's import the presets and I'll import it in our Devi builder layout library. All right. So it's now loading the page and here we have our pre styled email pop-up section one. Now let's go back to any page and click on add new page and let's name it and let's save the draft and we are going to use as Divi Builder to edit this page. And now here on this blank page, we are going to build from pre-made layouts. So let's say we import any layout here. Let's say the first one and I'm just going to import this page. Now once the import is done, I'm just going to scroll down at the very bottom. And then I'm just going to add a new section here and I'm just going to paste my copied section. Now, once we have our template pasted here, it shows on top of everything. So we need to hide it from all the devices first. So for that, let's open up our layer view and we go to our pop-up and then we go to advance. And at the bottom, we have visibility option. So let's turn it off on all the devices. And if you go to position, it's actually set on fix, but right now we are going to set it on relative so that it will go at the very bottom of the page and we can work on anything else on the page. Once that is done, we can now do all the settings tweaks that we need to do. And let me show you how this pop-up works. Now, in order to make this as a pop-up, we need to hide it from different devices in the initial stage so that we have already done. Now, let's see how we can make this pop-up appear on this page. So we again come back here on our pop-up. And now if we go in the interactions section and here we need to add an interaction. So we get few options here, how we want this pop-up to appear or how we want this interaction to trigger. So we have click option. So once anyone click on this, so we have click, mouse enter, exit, viewport enter, viewport exit and load. So in this case, we want to load this pop-up after five seconds of our page load. So let's select load here. Now we need to give it an admin label, something like this. And the trigger is already set on load. Next, we have effect action. So instead of toggle visibility, we are going to select show element. And here we need to mention which element we want to show or which module we want to show. And that will come under target module. So from here, we need to click on this and we get all the list of our sections and that is added on this page. And here, if we search for pop up, so we have to select the right section from all this list. So here is our section pop-up one. Let's select that. And for the time delay, we need to set it to 5000 because it's in millisecond. You can change that from here, but let's keep it as it is and then click on save. Now, once that is done, we now come back again to position and make the pop-up position instead of relative to fix. So that once the pop-up opens up, it will always stay in the middle of our page. Now let's publish this page and let's see how it looks in the front end. All right, let's wait for five seconds. And boom, here is our pop-up activated. Now we have a cross button here. If we click on this, nothing happens. So let's make this cross button close this entire pop-up. 
So we come back here. So once again, if we open up our layer view under this, so in order to set this icon as a close button, we need to go to advanced. Then we go to interactions and add a new interaction and we want a click event to happen. So let's click on click and let's give it a name again for admin label. And this time we want effect action as hide element. And what we want to hide again, our pop-up window or the pop-up section. So we go here, search for pop-up. Here's the name of our section. Let's select that. And time delay, we are going to set it as zero seconds. So let's click on save. Let's save the page again. And now if we load the page again, let's wait for the pop-up to come up. Here is our pop-up. Let's see if it closes the box here. And we click on this cross icon and then the pop-up is gone now. So this is how you can use all these six different templates to create some interactive pop-ups on your DV5 website. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below for our blog post where you can read every step-by-step -step process and download these templates for your DV website. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next video.